Welcome to Paris. My name is Gilles Haro. I am the chef concierge of the Intercontinental Paris Le Grand Hotel. Let me show you my city. Let's go. We are in the center of the city. Nothing is very far away from here. Very close by, we have the shopping area and restaurant for dining. Let's go now to the Jardin des Tuileries, where I will show you a few places on the way. We are here at the famous Angelina Tea Room, which has been served the first hot chocolate in 1903. The speciality of this house is Mont Blanc pastry, which I like it very much. Right next door to Angelina, you have the oldest English bookstore that we have in Paris. You can find in this shop all the French literature translated in English. Across the street from Angelina on the bookshop, we are in the Tuileries Garden. This park is a very good place to come to jog in the morning. Paris is famous for shopping, but there are many places people don't know about. Covered passages are a landmark area built in Paris 200 years ago. You can spend hours here looking at all the different shops. Rue des Frambourgeois is in the heart of Le Marais district. Probably one of the best places for shopping in Paris. Especially on a Sunday, because it's one of the only areas where you can find all the shops open. If you want to bring back some conversation piece to your home, this is the exact place. Le Viaduc des Arts. The thing you find here, it's very different, just because some of the things are made here. Place du Marché Saint-Honoré is a great area for dining. Generally in Paris, it's always preferable to reserve, but Place du Marché Saint-Honoré, it's a place which has so many restaurants, you can easily walk in one of them and get a table right there. Bistro in France are very small restaurants where you can eat the typical French cuisine. Hello, you are Chapolin. It's a very classic and very old bistro of Paris, and we make a very classic and good cooking. Traditional. We are now in front of the marvelous Louvre Museum. You can buy your ticket at a concierge desk to be sure not waiting online. What the people doesn't know is that we can organize a special tour for the children. Another exciting way to discover the monument of Paris is to take a river cruise on the Seine. But if you want to avoid the crowd, I recommend to go during the day. We are now in front of the Opera House, built by Charles Garnier in 1862. We call it the Opera House, but most of the performances are ballet. The opera are playing at the Opera Bastille. Something very special in this building is that thousands of bees are living on the roof, making some honey, which you can buy in the gift shop. I have shown you a few of my favorite things in Paris, but there is so many other things to see. Please, come and discover it. <laughs>